now we, now today we're getting into c functions uh, <clears throat> we have seen sql script now we're getting into c functions Vamsi, please do log in with the specify your email ID. I'll wait for another five minutes. Also. Otherwise, I'm going to disconnect this. Vamsi. And there's a person who's logged in as waiting for name. Please do log in with your name. Because there's been so many days. Another five minutes, I'll wait down. Otherwise, I'll disconnect both of you. Uh, C stands for Calculation Engine. Boss. Uh, Calculus, see, internally into HANA, there will be multiple engines like SQL engine and the Calculus engines. And Calculus engine is more stronger, um, which can handle huge amount of records and complex calculations. So what SAP has done is, for most frequently written SQL statements, like select, uh, select certain columns from a table or join two tables or unions from two tables, for most frequently performed SQL statements, SAP has given some ready-made functions for it, CE functions. And we can leverage these functions to perform the SQL uh, equivalent uh, operations. But SAP does not suggest to mix up both. Say you're writing a procedure, <coughs> say you're implementing a procedure, you either use CE functions completely or you either use SQL but don't mix up okay now so we just have to know what are the different functions available as part of CE functions and their equivalent SQL statements then instead of you wherever it's possible instead of using SQL statements you can start using CE functions which will be more um, more strong in performance yeah. more better in performance yeah. Now there are, first let's discuss in all this, then we'll go through. Now we have first operator C underscore column underscore table. Simple. Um, say now we have some, I give you some table, column store table. And you would like to read uh, the data from this table. So what is the SQL statement you write? Say select start from table or say select column one column two column three from table okay yeah. so for for this equivalent select statement sap has given some ce function called c underscore column underscore table means can't we use ce functions in writing c writing yeah we'll be using this c c functions in scripting only so yeah. Are these functions has default script for each? Yes. Each of these function will have their own syntax. Okay. Does all the SQL equivalent functions have equivalent CE functions? Not everything. For pretty much you have them. CE full name is calculation engine functions. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so we use this. Um, C underscore column underscore table function when you want to read data from a column store table. Let's say focus bus uh, syntax we can always get but at least we should be able to identify which function to be leveraged or which operator we have to use. Okay. Say you've been given with some column store table and you would like to read data from this table bus because this will help you to understand modeling also. Calculus engine Calculation view, we would use this functions internally, okay? So, when you want to read data from a table, generally you say select, uh, if you want to read all the columns, you'll say select star from table. Or if you want to read certain columns of a table or certain attributes, then you'll say select column 1, column 2, column 3 from table, right? We have, so, C underscore column underscore table is a function equivalent to this select statement to read data from a column store table. So only column store table. So C underscore column underscore table is a function or is an operator when we use it when you want to read from a table. 
So syntax goes something like this. Uh, if you see C underscore column underscore table and then you specify the name of the table. If you just and this attributes is optional. If you want to read all the columns, you don't specify any attributes. If you want to read only certain columns or attributes, you start listing out the attributes. So this is the syntax of it. So you say C underscore column underscore table of the table name and then you put a comma and then separate so list out all the columns what you want to read. If you don't list out the columns, then obviously it is going to read all the columns of the table. Okay. Next, <clears throat> we have next operator, join view, OLAP view, calc view. So before we understand these three, mm, just get this way. So when you get on to HANA modeling next, so we're going to build up three kind of three type of views. One is attribute view, analytical view, and calculation views. As part of HANA modeling content, you create three modeling objects. One is attribute view, analytical view, and calculation views. So internally, when you basically execute attribute view, it does use join engine. Focus on this. It uses join engine. Okay. When you when you basically create an analytical view and execute it, internally it does use something called OLAP engine. And when you execute a calculation view, internally it does use calculation engine first. Remember, whenever I create an attribute view, very important bus. Whenever we create an attribute view and when I execute a select statement on this attribute view, it actually leverages join engine for it internally. For analytical view, it does use OLAP engine. For calculation view, it does use calculation engine bus. Okay. That is one point. And next point is, we will see when you get on to modeling, but, but the point to be noted is whenever we create any modeling view, whether it is attribute view or analytical view or calculation view, system will deploy column view in this big schema. By default, how you have created a schema? There will be some default schemas. One is sys, sys, bi, sys, big, right? You'll have a schema called sys, big bus. Whenever we create a HANA modeling content, whether it is attribute view or analytical view or calculus view, it does create a column view in sys, big schema bus automatically. Other day I've shown you when we created a procedure, we could create some column view with result view, right? And I could do a select on it. Yes. Yeah. Now, now, now focus was whether you create attribute view or analytical view or calculation view, system will deploy column view in sys big schema. Okay. Now, now look at this. Now we have a function called C underscore join underscore view. Not this big, it is this big. It is this big bus. B I C. It is not this big, it is this big. Big. Okay. Yeah, see, don't get confused with analytical view, attribute view, all this now. Just understand when you say whether I say attribute view or analytical view or calculation view, just understand <clears throat> it's going to be a modeling object where you go to combine multiple objects or multiple join or union combine multiple tables or whatever it is. This it's like slicing and dicing all the tables. That's it for now. Don't get confused. Yeah. Uh, BAC is for business content. No, I don't think so. I, I don't know the full form, but they use this name, big, okay, sys big, B-I-C. Okay, so every time you create an analytical view or attribute view or calculation, you see any of this view, understand it's a virtualization layer or virtualization object built on top of those tables. 
you basically combine tables or join those tables you do massaging to those tables and create some projected columns for the reporting that is what modeling is as part of modeling you go about creating either attribute view or analytical view or calculation views okay and for each of these view we have a different engine in the back end for our attribute view it does leverage join engine <coughs> For analytical view, it does leverage OLAP engine. For calculation view, it does leverage calculation engine. Okay. Now, and also, point is, every time you create any of this modeling view, or you, when you deploy, when you activate, it automatically creates a column view in sys BIC schema. <coughs> okay. Now, once that is done, now I would like to do a select on the column view from the SysBI bus. I can do that. Other day when we created a stored procedure, which was resulting a column view, I could do a select on the column view, right? Same way, I can also do a select on the column view, which was deployed from the attribute view or analytical view or from the calculation view in SysBig schema bus. Okay. Now say if you want to write, if you want to write a select on the column view, what to write? You say select the columns from column view, right? That's it. Now for now when you want to do a select on the column view, which is deployed from attribute view, you have to go with C underscore join underscore view. So C underscore join underscore view will be the C operator or C function equivalent when you would like to equivalent to select statement on column view deployed from attribute view bus. Okay. Same way, when you want to do a select attributes, select statement on the column view, which is OLAP column view, which is deployed from the analytical view, we use C underscore OLAP underscore view. So for the equivalent select statement, what you write on the OLAP column view, which is deployed from analytical view, we would have a function called C underscore OLAP underscore view. Same way, when you basically deploy a calculation view, it is going to create a calculation column view. It is going to create a calculation column view. When you want to, dep when you want to read or select from the calculation column view, the equivalent C function would be C underscore calc underscore view bus. So you understand this? C underscore, see, there is every question. There is another function here. Now remember on this. So that is where we have these four operators. One is C underscore column underscore table to read data from a column store table. C underscore join underscore view when you want to read data from a column view which is deployed from the attribute view. C underscore OLAP underscore view when you want to read data from a column view which is deployed from the analytical view. C underscore calc underscore view when you want to read data from a column views which is deployed from the calculation views. Okay. <coughs> next functions. Now next we have C underscore join bus. All three are, are to read from column views only, yes. Yeah, all three are column views. Only the thing is, col there are one is a OLAP column view, one is calculation column view, one is normal column views. Okay. But everything is to read from column views only. Now, next we have something, next operator C underscore join. So, let's say, uh, let's, if you look at normal SQL, Let's say I have table 1 and I have table 2 and uh, I have some information in table 1 and I have some information in table 2. Then you go about when you want to get data from both the tables, you perform a join. Yeah? You say select col uh, columns from table 1, comma select columns from table 2, from table 1, inner join table 2, then you say T on so and so condition. right? For this equivalent select statement of joining, joining multiple tables left table and right two tables we can use c underscore join c underscore join is the c function or operator when you want to join multiple tables 
not multiple, only two tables can be joined with this operation. If you want to join three tables, obviously first join table 1 and table 2, collect the output into temporary table, then the result of temporary table must be joined to table 3 again. Okay. So C underscore join will be used when you want to join two tables. Now in interviews, this is a question you get. Okay. Yeah, see, this is a question they ask you. There is, there is a, there is, sorry, you have this function, they ask you this. What is the difference between C underscore join underscore view versus what is the difference between C underscore joins? Both look similar. So that is the question you get in the interviews. C underscore join underscore view will be used when you want to read data from the column view which is deployed from the attribute view bus. But whereas C underscore join Whereas C underscore join is what? It's an operation when you want to join two result sets. When you want to join two result sets, which will be an inner join. When you want to, this is explicitly for inner join only. Okay. So you have two result sets. You want to join two result sets. Then we can use C underscore join. Okay. C underscore join is inner join. Yes, it's an inner join. Uh, C underscore join gives us the inner, yes, it is inner, not default, it is inner join, CE join is inner join, okay. So in MS SQL we use more than two table to join, right, why not, in, see I can, if I write a normal select statement I can join n number of tables, first, no issues. But this operation, uh, this CE function is designed to join only two tables only at a, at a point of time not multiple because when you again join multiple tables then there's always a point of cartesian looping all this so there's only joining of two tables see join view will it accept multiple join not tables see don't get confused c underscore join underscore view is to perform a select on column view deployed from attribute view bus. But whereas C underscore join is to perform an inner join between two result sets. It could be two tables or two temporary tables. Explicitly two temporary tables, not even database tables directly. Okay. So if I want to join two tables, first I should collect data from of table one into temporary table one. Collect the data of second table into temporary table two, then bo join both of them. Because don't get worried on what is attribute view, what is article view now. Just as of you just take it now. Say we are going to rep, we are going to have all the tables in HANA bus, all the all the data stored in tables. But these tables are not ready for consumption by the business for the reporting part. So I'll have to do slicing and dicing. I'll have to cut down some columns. I'll have to add some more new columns, derive new columns, calculate new columns or join multiple tables or union multiple tables, do what not. Do all the kind of slicing and dicing on those tables and get the columns projected which can be used by the business person. That is what modeling is. To perform this or to create, to perform this activity as part of modeling, you go about creating a lot of virtualization models like attribute view or analytical view or calculus, it's all about joining those objects. Okay. And when you deploy them, it, it's going to create some column views in the back end. Okay. Suppose I want to join three tables, then I can join two tables using C join and again using the result. I can, yes, that is how you have to go. Yeah. So let's say I want to join three tables. Even first, what you have to do is first read data from column store table one using C underscore column underscore table. Then again, read data from table two using C underscore column underscore table. Again, read data from table 3, collect in temporary table, C underscore column underscore table. Then, uh, take the content of temporary table 1 and 2, join with C underscore join and collect in temporary table 4. Then, take this result and again, get into another table, do C underscore join and put into C underscore this. So, this can execute parallelly, that is what. Um, can we have some examples? Yeah, I'll get into examples first. First, I'm just going through each and every function one by one. 
explaining when to use what. I'll show you for every function, I'll show you an example. Don't worry. Then how, when I want to join more than two tables, which is the ideal for reporting. Uh, then then how when I want to join more than two tables which is ideal for <clears throat> I don't understand when I want to join two tables which is ideal for reporting means you're asking which join is better or I didn't understand my understanding of view join multiple tables based on not only based on primary you can join on any column Will it be same when creating the views of either attribute? Almost pretty much same, but and but attribute view gives uh, calculation view gives you more flexibilities than analytical view than attribute. Each one is for different purpose. Attribute views for representing master data, analytical views for representing single fact table, and calculation view for any complex calculations can be handled by calculation view. Because I cannot really tell you that this is a scenario you have to go for attribute view or analytical view or because whatever you can do with attribute view or analytical view now with the latest versions I can do implement everything with calculation view <clears throat> okay just take there are three types of views as of now so for each of the view it will have a different engine and different uh, and they deploy column views how does C improves performance because they leverage calculation engine most Joining more than two tables is always an ideal requirement, but C does not, see that is not a problem, <clears throat> see that is where you have to focus on, one is deploying parallelism also, for example, I would like to join four tables, first. can that be done here, um, with C underscore join, you join two tables and result get this, and again, again, you use C join, join three and four, and then this can be joined together. So now joining of one and two, three and four will be done together, right? Yeah. Latest version I I heard it's it's eleven. I have not heard about twelve yet. Any performance difference between these three types of bus? Don't get on, don't divert yourself to views now. We'll come to that graph modeling. Yeah. See, each type of view will be good for a certain kind of operation. If you want aggregation, then OLAP view is better. If you want to do some complex calculation of joining and all this, then calculation is better. So, each one is for one purpose. It's a speed 12 is latest. Okay. Echo is to come in. I don't know, echo is should be some, I don't know, from not from my side. Okay. <clears throat> okay, boss. And, and, and same way, you have a C or function operator to perform left outer join. C underscore, left underscore, outer underscore join. Which again, we know about left outer join. Common values plus unmatched values from left tamperant. So you say C underscore left under join. We say left table first, then right table first, and then the join condition. And then after join, what columns do you want from both of these tables? Same way, look at this. Uh, C underscore join, you say table one, table two, and the join condition. Then you can specify, after specific join condition, you can specify the projection list. Only thing is, this will be inner join. This performs left order join, and this performs right order join. Okay. Next, C underscore projection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Projection is uh, C underscore project. When I say projection list, it's about selecting. Say, when you join two tables, you're going to select some columns from both the tables, right? Those columns must be listed out here as a projection list. You say, what columns do you want from both of these tables? Okay. Next one, C underscore projection. We have other functions, C underscore projection. 
<coughs> two points, uh, two operations can be done here, or uh, three operations in fact. Say I have a table, <coughs> say I have a table uh, with lots of columns. I just want to project only certain columns of the table. Then I can say, I can use the CE projection, uh, read data from the temporary table and then say project only these columns uh, I want. Okay. It's like say, I give you a temporary table, let's say I tab, which is giving you a lot of columns. Then you just want to select only certain columns of it. Then I can use CE underscore projection. Then we can use CE underscore projection. Okay. That is one. And one more thing is, uh, in the select statement, uh, you go with the renaming of the columns, right? Say, you, you, as alias, you say select employee ID as employee number. So when you want to implement that kind of aliasing of the column names, can also be achieved from C underscore projection. That is one. And one more thing, in the select statement, you apply the where clause, right? And where clause can also be applied through C underscore projection. <coughs> Even for where class, you have to apply it through C underscore projection. Okay, three things. One is projecting certain columns from the temporary table, applying a where class on the temporary table, and renaming of the columns can also be applied. So these three operations can be performed by C underscore projection. <coughs> okay. Next we have C underscore union, and the format syntax would be C underscore projection the variable name, then we have the projection list, what do you want, and then filter condition, which will be where class. This is the name of the table, temporary table, not database table, so only temporary table here, okay. If only C underscore column underscore table only can touch the table. All other functions will be using the temporary tables only, yeah. And then now C underscore union underscore all, yeah. <coughs> This for uni unifying two data sets. So you got result set one, result set two. You want to combine both of them with union operation. Then I can say C underscore union underscore all table one and table two. Okay. And when it's union all, it brings you duplicates also. Okay. Later and things. And even here, it has to be only temporary tables only, not database. Suppose if you want to read data from two tables and then unify union it, then you'll have to basically use first, first say, C underscore column underscore table, read data from the table one. Then again, use C underscore column underscore table, read data from table two. Then take the result of table one and table two, then unify both with union underscore all. Yeah, okay. Why table underscore variable one and why not table? Yeah, yeah. See, see, if I said C underscore column underscore table is to read from table. Now you have two operations. You would like to read data from table one and then you would like to read data from table 2, then combine both the result sets. So when I want to read data from table 1, I need to go to C underscore column underscore table. When I want to read data from table 2, I need to go to C underscore column underscore table, use that. But then once I've read the data from those tables, then I, I want to unify it, then I go with C underscore union underscore all, based on the data what is stored already in the temporary tables collected from the C underscore column underscore table. So there is no C underscore union. No, it is C underscore union underscore all. Yeah. This is the question they ask you. Uh, because the same operation you will have in calculation engine, which is union operator, they will ask you whether that union is union all or union. It is union all. Okay. It's a kind of full order join. Yes. Yeah. See, there is one other day I had the same requirement of full outer join and union, but I had to go with full outer join, not with union operation, because if I have result set one and result set two, if I want to combine those results with union, the structure of both result sets must be same. But if the result sets are different and I still want to do union, then I'll have to go with full outer join only. Okay. Is it correct instead of table variable and table variable two? No, 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 no. C underscore union underscore will be table variable only. Yeah, it's not from the table directly. Yeah. 
you didn't know it in calculus because you need knowledge. Yeah, 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 that's what I was saying, yeah. Now what I'm saying, you, you, there is something called calculus view, we, in that also we'll have operations, uh, union, join, all this. And that union will simulate the union all operations. Table variable is like, yeah, like temporary table I tab, that's all, yeah, 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 I tab, yeah. Okay, next is C underscore conversion bus. We use this uh, for equivalent, yesterday we have seen about convert currency function in SQL. For equivalent function of convert currency, we have C underscore conversion, which can do currency conversion for us. Mm. Next, we have C underscore aggregation is another uh, uh, C operator. This is like, if you remember, uh, we have aggregation function like sum of, min of, count of, then you go with group by function, uh, group by class in the select statement. When you want to aggregate the data based on certain group by uh, function, then you go with aggregation bus. When you want to aggregate the data, so there are multiple records and you want to aggregate those records, then you can go with group by function. And the same group by function of select statement can be replaced with the C underscore aggregation bus. And even here, it reads from temporary table only. Everything except C underscore column underscore table, everything has to touch the temporary tables only. Okay, first. Then there's something called C underscore calc. See, don't get confused here. There is something called C calc view. C calc is separate. Okay. C calc will only will is used for performing some calculations. Say for example. Now within the within the column list of the select statement, you tend to perform some calculations, right? So, so to perform those calculations, I can use C calculus. Any calculations must be put inside the C calc function. See here, I'm just using the row number function as integer. I'm doing some calculations. Then I'm using the C calc here. Okay. How many C functions do we have? These are the ones. I'll, I'll, sure. have a question. I'll we'll see simple, it's very simple. So all in C function, we won't read data, database table, but using temporary, yes. When you want to read from table, Hello? it will be C underscore column underscore table, yes. How many Hello? we have, uh, not counted it. Uh, four, then seven, then ten. There are total 12 functions available for CE functions. See, I know we cannot achieve every logic with these functions. So whatever is possible, our first preference would be for CE functions as point of performance. If can't achieve, then we would get into scripting. But do not mix up. I cannot, we, we do not, SAP do not really support a procedure which contains both, combination of both. Say some statements you're writing with CE functions and some statements you're writing with SQL, no, not supported. Then system has to keep switching the engines, not, not, it supports, but not good one to write. You either write entire coding in the procedure with, with CE function or implement the procedure with either with scripting, either ways. But don't, do not combine uh, things. Boss, the person waiting for name, I'm disconnecting, please. Okay, boss. Now we're getting in uh, to see the demo on the same. Just give me two minutes, I'm just coming, one second, please.
Yes, boss. Sorry. Hmm. <clears throat> now let's not worry about the. <clears throat> okay. Now let's say I have. table 1 let's have got table 1 <clears throat> and i would like to read data from this table and then just get the results out then i will just say i'll just use c underscore column underscore table and read the data that's it yeah? and collect that into some temporary table and then put that out here yeah? let's say next i have a requirement say table 1 i have i've got table 1 and i've got table 2 and i would like to join these two tables first what i do i use c underscore column underscore table to read data from table 1 then again i use c underscore column underscore table to read data from table 2 now i collect this results of table 1 into let's say i tab 1 i collect the results of the c statement uh, next one as into table 2 <clears throat> then i use c underscore join to perform an inner join between content of i tab 1 comma content of i tab 2 that's how you go about doing <clears throat> yeah say for example if i want to join three uh, let's say what um, table 1 i got tab 1 say tab 2 then tab 3 <clears throat> then what you will do first you will again use c underscore column table read data from table one and table two then similar way you will read uh, table three okay <clears throat> then you c underscore join and uh, take a uh, content of i tab one comma i tab i tab two then c underscore join i'll collect this join results into i tab 4 let's say then i say c underscore join i from now i take a uh, i tab 4 then i join it to i tab 3 that's how you should, you should start using this functions and achieve your logic okay. <clears throat> now since these statements are reading from table 1 table 2 are, uh, are separate system will start executing them parallelly yeah okay. let's see how do we write the same kind of logic now
now first one uh, example i would like to do we have a table called customer in cubex 10 I have a table called customer. I have a table a customer with this eight columns. I just want to read all the columns of this table. Yeah. So I just say for you, if you want how I type, I can write. Right. Is it? So what is the basic need of C? performance so basic need of c function is to get performance so all in c functions we won't read okay that's why. is it possible to copy all the tables under one schema to another schema not copy you have to export that and reimport it first you export the data from the old schema then import it to another schema not a copy you can say export and import what is difference between normal sql and this one normal sql will use normal sql engine and c functions will use calculus engine so calculus engine is more stronger than a sql engine so you get good performance out of it okay boss uh, i'm saying uh, this is syntax of reading from a table c underscore column underscore t here we are combining c yeah yeah i should not do that but I just want to show you the result, right? Yeah. Use select tools. Using select tools, so please. Now we can use the C. <coughs> see wherever we're using. See C functions can be used part of scripting itself. Yeah, they are not separate. It's not separate language. We'll be using the C function as a other set of functions within the scripting. That's it. Okay. Could you please show where the view is created? Which view? <clears throat> okay. Boss. So this is my procedure name as begin and end. I'm just saying C underscore column underscore table into I tab and then select star from the title. Just select this and activate this procedure. And then I'm just calling this. This will this will basically read data from this customer table and then gives you. to please show where the view which view was i didn't understand see it was i tab view now i tab is not created see the view what i said was what when you create analytical view or calculation view or analytical attribute views then it deploys the column views in this big scheme that is different okay table is temporary earlier discussed on not using procedures no 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 was don't get confused See, C functions are, is not a different language. It's a you have seen like functions like string, concatenate, all those stuff, right? Apart from those, we also have C functions, which is part of scripting only. But only thing is, I said not to mix up SQL state, SQL statements with C functions. Don't mix up both. Yeah. Here instead of select, if we use C underscore column table, no, no, no. C underscore column table is used when you want to read from a column store table. I type is a temporary table. Okay. In our code, we have hundred C functions. Then all we execute parallel, depending on the logic, uh, depending on the dependency. For example, if if we look at this case, if we look at this case. This statement five cannot be executed until the statement four is executed. So this will not go in parallel. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is how we can use the C underscore column underscore table to read data from a column store table. But um, this is just reading all the columns. But if I just want to read certain columns of a table, then I would just change the syntax this way. Table name, comma, then the square brackets, you list out all the columns what you want to read. I just want to read only, let's say, customer ID and company name. Yeah. Then I can say, I can just read only those two columns. C procedures. See, there's nothing like C procedures. It's a stored procedure. Stored procedure is a body in which you can write your scripting. And within the scripting, we can also use C functions also. Into it. C procedure can be stored in some place where schema, if you do not, if so, do we need to maintain naming convention between, no, 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 no. See, there's nothing like C procedure or SQL procedure. It's a procedure, that's it. <coughs> See, you're creating an ABAP program. Do we say, uh, oops, ABAP or normal ABAP, it's ABAP, right? That is it like this. You love scripting eh, is a language. Up within the scripting language, you can use SQL statements as well as C functions also. That is what it is. So you create your procedure using your scripting and scripting can involve C functions. That is what it is. How can I get to know whether code is in SQL or SQL script? See, SQL, SQL and SQL script are not much different only with the extension. SQL is an SQL statement. When you extend that SQL with some control statements, looping statements, uh, table declarations, all this, then that becomes scripting. That's it. SQL script. Yeah. Okay. Is it possible to alter procedure or we need to drop? We can alter the procedure. I'll show you that. When you get onto modeling packages, I'll show you. Where is this big schema? In the next example, I'll show you. Boss. When you see, when you, let me finish all the examples. If I just leave something, then ask me. Yeah? So this is how you read data from a table bus by using C underscore column underscore table. So you just specify the, as part of the syntax, you specify the table name. Then you will list out the columns what you want to read from the table. Why we are using temp table here to project the results? Can't we get the result using C underscore column table directly? No. <coughs> No boss. If I if I'm using the C underscore column underscore table, you're saying why should I collect this way? But where does it print from? It cannot do that because C underscore C underscore column table will read from table but does not print that I think. Okay, let me try. You're saying it will not work out because it only reads it. Goodness. It is not able to connect connect in anything here. Syntax error near line five. Okay, boss. This is how we use data from the column store uh, column store table. Join view, I have to pick something. C underscore, join underscore view. So let me just show you one, then we can pick that out. Now, what did I tell you? Now look at this. Um, so let's not worry about attribute view and all those stuff now. Just, uh, Let's not worry about what is attribute view now. Say I have an attribute view, I just want to, I don't want to do anything, I just want to copy 
and recreate it again. I said cubex 10 AV, that's my name, attribute view name. Okay, now see, now this is inactive yet. I'm what I'm doing, I'm deploying it. Now I'll just go about activating this. I won't activate this view. When I deploy now, let me show you that. Now let me go to this big schema. So it'll have a schema, it'll have a column view. I just want to see whether do we have a column view with this naming cubex 10 AV, cubex 10 AV. Uh, when I try to see the column views, do I see anything? No. After I deploy this, after I activate this attribute view, it is done. Once I have deployed this or once I activate this attribute view, I should see a column view here. Now look at this. It says 9 cubex PK models cubex 10 AV. This is the column view. Okay. Now, Generally, I can just look at right click and say open content and see the data. That's also fine. This is how I can see the data from the column view. Or I can do a normal select on the select uh, star from. It's like how you do a select on the column view. I can do a select on this column view. It is virtual. What, do, what we're doing is instead of doing a select on this column view, we have an equivalent C function given when you want to read data from the column view deployed from the attribute group. So C underscore join underscore view is that. So C underscore join underscore view is a C function or C operator when you want to read data from the column view deployed from the attribute view in the big scheme. Okay. This is how you can write a C function, C underscore join underscore view when you want to read data from the column view deployed from the attribute view. Okay. We'll come back to the concept of creating attribute view later, but now this is about reading. Same if you want to read uh, certain columns again, what do you say? So I just want to read only city and country, then again you just specify the columns. was that name city caps city country okay It'll read only two columns from the city and country. Do we have to give column name, column view name, or just attribute? You have to give the column view name. You have to give the name of the column. See, name of the column is not something different from that. It just holds a package prefix. <coughs> See, uh, where do we have my view created? I have brought in. 9 cubex pk models and this is the name cubex 10 av so that is the name of it 9 cubex dot models slash the view name so you will have the package hierarchy slash the view name that's it so c join view once again it's nothing but c i have deployed some modeling content which is an attribute view so it automatically creates a column views in sysbig schema when i want to read data from this column view 
we can use C underscore join underscore view. That's it. Yeah. Next one, C underscore OLAP underscore view. <clears throat> Using C function, can we only read the data? In case of write operation, no, 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 no writing, no writing. Yes, only reading, no writing. <clears throat> Generally, this is more of a, more for modeling purpose. Mm. Modeling is all about slicing and dicing. It's not about write operations. Okay. Now next we have C underscore OLAP underscore view. We use this when you want to read data from the column view deployed from analytical view. How is it? Now, now don't worry about creating analytical view now. Just just a concept. I'm just taking some analytical view. So copied, I'm just activating it. So, it's activated. If the view is activated, now again it, we should have a column view. And the name I gave was QX10 AN. You see this orange symbol, this indicates overlap column view. For adderboot view, it was normal calculation view. This is overlap column view here. The orange symbol indicates. So when you want to do uh, read from this, then what I'll do, I specify that column name. C underscore overlap underscore view. This is the overlap column view. Just put this. And what columns are there in that? I don't know. I just wanted to see the data in this. I got CT then. Senate term words. I'll take this column name. City. Senate term words. I just want to read this to her. Just say call this and city and your net term. Like this, you can I can use the C function, C underscore OLAP underscore view. When we want to read the column view of type OLAP, which is deployed when analytical view has been activated. Next, we will have C underscore calc underscore view. So we use this C underscore calc underscore view when you want to read data from the column view, uh, column view deployed from calculation view. I just take some calculation view.
copy and paste it. Just activate this. Cubex ten. See. So that will have a calculation column view. See, you see a small calculator like stuff here that says calculation column view. So I just use that column. So I want to read data from the calculation column view from the which is deployed from calculation view. So. Okay, again if you want to read certain columns, you say list out the columns. That's it. How do we differentiate between C underscore join underscore view and OLAP underscore view? Yeah, C underscore join underscore view is to read data from the column view deployed from attribute view. C underscore OLAP underscore view is to read data from the OLAP column view which is deployed from the activation of analytical view. Why we always create a procedure for each example is that must, no, because I need to show you uh, when we teach ABAP, you write lot of ABAP programs. When we teach the scripting, we need to write lot of. Uh, I need to write either I need I can write scripting either in procedure or I can write it in function or I can either write it in triggers. So I should use either of these bodies to have my scripting written and show you. Yeah? Can't we directly read data by writing simple SQL or C? No, no. C statement cannot be independent. It has to be assigned to temporary table then. So it's like a logic, it's like a programming what you write. So it has to be in, into some body. Can you, we have to write above program into executable program or include program or function model, function, whatever it is, right? So same way, scripting must be, what scripting is a language, you should have some uh, outer layer cover to have this body written. So it should be either procedure or a function or a trigger. Do we have anonymous procedures in Anna? Uh, means what is anonymous procedures means? No name procedure with no name. I have no idea, boss. No, no idea on that. Where select star from execution SQL engine? It will be going to SQL engine, boss. Okay, now we'll stop it here and we'll continue with other C functions uh, examples tomorrow, much more on that. Okay, boss? Thank you.